guys, welcome to Vinya Magal in Tikiski, Japan. We're gonna be sampling the best that Kretero has to offer in terms of wine and cheese and spending some time in Tikiski, Japan Centro. We're doing all of this with our friends Anna and Andrea. So let's go. Vinya Magal was our first stop for the day. It's located just outside Tukiskepan and around 45 minutes from Querétaro. We picked this one as it was a smaller, locally run vineyard, as opposed to some of the bigger commercial alternatives around. What a great decision this was, as when we arrived, we had the entire place to ourselves. We had a tour around the grounds by the owner with this beautiful dog in tow. And we were surprised to hear the variety of not only grapes, but other produce that was being grown at the vineyard. The owner was especially proud of his peach tree. Once we were finished with the tour, we had a private tasting of three different wines, a rosé, a tempranillo and a cabernet, as well as a giant cheese board to pair with the wine. The rosé was our favourite and we left with a few bottles to take home, of course. visited in midwinter which meant the temperature was perfect but the vineyard was not as green and lush as it is during the spring. Next up we went into Tequis Centro to explore what is yet another Pueblo Mexico. We had some coffee and lunch, explored the endless market stalls saw what is the geographical center of Mexico and sampled plenty of the cheese this area is actually known for.
ended the day with sunset, dinner, and a few more wines at Puerta del Lobo. We have to say, this was some of the best food we've eaten in Mexico. Hot tip, make sure you arrange transport there and back if visiting, or take your own car, as we struggle to find a taxi or Uber back into Querétaro. And finally, to cap off what was a great weekend, we made the traditional pilgrimage for Sunday morning barbacoa. This spot, Don Lole, was located in a market on the outskirts of Carretero and had come highly recommended by a few of the locals as the best in town. For those who don't know, barbacoa is slow-cooked sheep's meat which is typically eaten in soup or tacos with all the essential toppings. We've heard it is a great food for when you're hungover. <laughs> Lastly, thanks Anna and Andrea for sharing the weekend with us. And for those of you watching, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel as it helps us out a lot. Thanks for watching, see you next time.